Much requested. Can you adhere a napkin to fabric with cling wrap? Let's see. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I had someone ask about putting napkins or the papers onto fabric using cling wrap. So I thought we'd go ahead and try it. And so again, I have this <laughs> this peacock napkin that I'm using and I've taken that was me taking the ply off of it and I am going to go ahead we'll be using some clean wrap the napkin the fabric I have a bottom piece and I'm going to need a top piece of paper and scissors that are cut nicely on your napkin and your cellophane and um, rather than using that brand new napkin and I'm going to trim up this edge and I'm thinking this could be a fabric flip in a journal or I don't know I might even I I'm thinking about trying this for a for other things too like a pillow possibly we'll see we'll see we'll see if this works <laughs> okay so little piece pull it out it needs to go below our napkin Okay, it just needs to be a little bit bigger than our napkin. I'm actually way bigger than it needs to be. So I'm gonna line it up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut around it. And I'm like between a quarter and a half an inch because there will be some shrink Don't worry, that's just our amateur radio identifying itself. It has to do that every 10 minutes. Our repeater. Okay. I can't, it's hard for me to see the, the shiny. Okay, so just that little tiny bit around the edge. As a matter of fact, we'll cut just a little bit more off of here. And then we're going to put our paper on top. There we go. And bring in our iron. My iron is set at cotton, no steam. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and iron it work those corners because that's the place that seems to if there's any problems that's usually where it's at okay okay looks like it's good and let's see how it does we are putting a napkin onto fabric and you see the extra cellophane attached to the paper. And let's see. There you go. You guys, it is like an iron-on transfer. That is pretty amazing. So if you wanted to use this for a fabric flip, you might just go ahead and cut your edges. And of course this scrap over here we'd be able to use for tags or in our tassel or something. And there you go. And just so you know, I did do one earlier to make sure that it was going to work. And it did. And I, here it is. 
and I went in and I stitched around it just for some added you know to make added stability just in case and to make it pretty and I also have crinkled it and it seems to do fine so my next thing I wanted to try was you know that was pretty simple that was a square there I want to try ripping around it okay because you know that's that's how I like to do things so fussy ripping around my peacock hair and of course I could just go in and, and cut him out off of there by the way this feels amazing it will give you another um, another feel if you like for your journals and your projects to have different textures and and feel different this one definitely feels different so we're going to try a couple other things um, but I, first I'm going to try this get in there a little bit more okay and then I'm going to come down here Instead of cutting it straight, I'm going to rip around the eyes on the, the tail here. Okay. Okay. So, again, we're going to need some. I'm just going to clean that up a little more there. We need some cling wrap. And this I have not tried yet. But I, I'm, I'm assuming, uh-oh, shouldn't do that, right? There we go. Put that down. Put our peacock down on it. I'm going to go ahead and cut around it. Come up from this side. Oh my gosh, this would be beautiful on a cover. I wish I hadn't wish I hadn't made my cover already. Could still it could still go on my cover though. Uh-oh. Ah, I hate when that happens. It cleaned. Okay, it's coming off. Can't tell if it's on the bottom or the top. Well, we'll try another little experiment, see if you can. If you can add in a piece in case your your beak in case your beak isn't on your your page. I'm gonna put this kind of over. Cause maybe I'll use the cover that I made for something else. Make sure that we are sparkly all around it. Looks like we're good. Okay. So we're going to use a different cover paper and come in and let's check this out. So we're putting the profile or yeah of the peacock onto our fabric we started to scorch and there we have it and the extra came off all around the outside here oh my gosh I love this so there we go. It worked. It worked. 
and um, so this is what we have I wonder if you could come in then and like I'm sure you could so you could go ahead and frame this with the piece up here maybe why not right got to stay away from well I guess you don't have to stay away from that we'll try this see if you could just go ahead and collage your pieces of your napkin I don't see why not Okay, if I keep my iron away from there, I think we'll be okay. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. And you could just do something like that just on your, your piece of fabric that was going to be on your flip. Oh, I think this is going to be amazing. So here we have the one that I stitched around. Here we have the piece that we just added. The um, Just the profile of the peacock and that little piece too. And here's the one that we did. So I think pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So I will link the video with the mini challenge in the challenge where we use napkins and put them onto a variety of papers as well as the March Spring Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge details video that will be down below. And I will also link the Etsy shop where all of the digitals are on sale. All 48 digital kits are on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop including the peacock digital this is a napkin but there's a a digital kit that this will go um go along with really well find something to celebrate every day don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when hopefully youtube will tell you when i have a new video up or go live have a great day bye Bye-bye.